Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my um, what I've been melting lately video. It has been a really long time. It has been crazy because of the holidays and as you can see my recording space has changed and it's really hard for me to find a lot of time without the kids interrupting to do these kinds of videos. So my basket is completely overflowing. I'm going to have to break this into two videos because I know nobody wants to watch like you know, 20, 30 minute videos. So I guess I'll just jump right in. So we have Go to Sleep from Super Tarts. This is Pink Sugar Lavender. I love this. I really wish I would have bought it, bought, yeah, bought it, bought more. Um, I bought two clamshells of this. It is awesome. Next time she offers it, I will be definitely stocking up a lot more on this. It is just so creamy and the pink sugar and the lavender is amazing. I mean, I've had pink sugar lavender blends from other people, but this one is probably one of my favorites. It is awesome. I really, really like this. I use this clamshell up actually pretty quick once I started melting it. Awesome. It had a medium to high throw. I have the Bathing Garden Cheshire Cat. I've had this for quite a while. Um, somebody sent this to me because I was like obsessed with finding the Alice restock clams. I found out about the baby garden after this restock. And this is, let me get this straight, lemon and maybe it's lemon curd and raspberry, I think. This is really good. It threw medium to me. I don't know. The last this is the last restock that I actually can get some good decent throws off of the bathing garden. I hope she brings back some of these Alice scents because I think they're adorable and I'm a huge Alice in Wonderland fan so this is a really nice scent. We have Muggle Melts. This one was before she actually came out with her cheese ball. Um, Super Tarts came out with her cheese ball restock. This was jelly filled donuts. This was stuff that was she was selling in lots. And her jelly donut is ridiculously delicious and it throws very strong. Yeah, I can still smell it in the package. It is so good. So good. You guys need to try Brandy's jelly filled donuts. I finished up Kimri Ann's pistachio zucchini bread. This is a tester she had sent me. Um, when she was going to paraffin. This one's really good and it always threw really good. Her pistachio is awesome. Awesome. And it threw really well for me. I have Sassy Girl Aroma Honey Honeydew Cotton Candy. This was sent to me in a rope. This was really good. Like, it was a nice, fresh, summery scent. I think that I should probably get some more of this for the summertime when I get back into, like, the really fruity scents. Six Impossible Things from the Bathing Garden. I bought this in a Alice D stash. I can't remember exactly what this blend was, but I think it was like chocolate and coffee. It was really good, actually. This one threw pretty well for being a Bathing Garden. I also have Pink Lime from the Bathing Garden. I bought this in the same D stash. This one, the lime is nice. It's really citrusy and zesty and this one didn't throw as well. I'm not sure. I used, I did it in a different warmer. I did this in the 24 watt hot plate. Maybe it was just way too hot for using the bathing garden. This is actually a really good one also. I would repurchase blend. Glitterati Candle Company Strawberry Pretzel. This was the first time I had ever tried a pretzel scent. I had this in my custom order and pink sugar pretzel. And everybody had always talked about pretzel scents and I didn't even know what to expect. I'm like, I like to eat pretzels. I don't know if I like to melt something that has pretzel in it. I am a true believer. I like this one, but I think the pink sugar pretzel, I like a lot more. And I'm not sure why. Probably just because I'm such a huge fan of pink sugar. Through incredibly, I chunked this into three separate chunks. If you've ever had Glitterati, you know that um, her chunks are actually quite large. And you definitely can overdo it and put too much in so it doesn't throw well. So it's awesome. Very, very good throw on this. Another Glitterati. This is Blue Raspberry Pink Sugar Vanilla Sugar Waffle Cone. This one's actually on my reorder list. It threw very well. I chunked this one also into three pieces. And 
the blue raspberry with the pink sugar and then the vanilla waffle cone to kind of, you know, blend those two together to kind of tone it down is awesome. Like, I highly recommend this if anybody is making their literati custom order list. Rustic Lodge from Candles from the Keeping Room. What was the sample that came with my order? I think, yeah, this one was apple. Some sort of apple scent. Really, really good. It threw really well. The apple is delicious. One thing about Carol is she really has, like, the best apple scents. I love it. I love all her apple scents I've ever tried. Raspberry Rainbow. This was from Candles from the Keeping Room. I don't know what's in this blend. I'm kind of thinking maybe raspberry and rainbow sherbet. It was really nice. This one was more of a medium throw. I liked it. Pink Monkey Bread from Soy Day Bisbee. This one I'm not sure the exact blend on this also, but you definitely get a lot of cinnamon in this. So it was like pink sugar and bakery, like cinnamon bakery. It was really good. Like really, really good. And one thing I want to point out, hers is soy and beeswax tarts, and this is the first time I've ever had beeswax. It threw very well. Very, very well. Adventure time. This is Finn and Jake from Super Tart. This was... I know I had peppermint in it. It's something... Something sweet. I don't know. It smelled like citrusy peppermint. This one's really good. I like this one, and I never, ever have any problem getting super tart to throw. Lemon ice cream scoop bread from Candles from the Keeping Room. This one was a really good lemon mixed with ice cream scoop bread, which made it more bakery. Grew very good for me. Super tart blueberry cheesecake toasted mellow waffle cone. This got sent to me. I think it was a part of a super bag. This one's really good. Brandy has an awesome blueberry. It threw good for me. This is Up the Creek Pink Sugar Cotton Candy. This was so delicious. I can't really smell anything anymore. I kind of wish I could. Um, the pink sugar and the cotton candy blended together. Awesome. Up the Creek also has a really good throw for me. Glitterati Candle Company. This is Rebel Yo. I can't for the life of me remember what was in this blend. I'm pretty sure it was Sangria and Melon. That's what I'm smelling in the bag. Chunk this into three pieces. This is really, really good. This is a really good spring-summer scent. Strawberry Musk Candles from the Keeping Room. This was one of the samples with my order. I actually hear people talk about this scent all the time. It was really good. I'm going to have to get more of this. Um, it was... It had that musk to it, but it also had the strawberry to kind of, like, tone it down a little bit. This was more of a fruity musk scent. This is really, really good. I'm going to have to get more of that through well for me. Um, Cherry Blossom Moon Grapefruit and Vanilla. This is actually older. This is from March 31st. It was poured. It threw good for me. She has a really good grapefruit. I know she's kind of been out of the loop for quite a while. Um, but she does have a good grapefruit if anybody gets to order from her. And this are always medium. Sassy Girl Aroma Pink Sugar Tangerine Birthday Cake. This was delicious. I bought this in a D-stash. It was really nice. The birthday cake with the tangerine and pink sugar. It was like a, you know, fruity birthday cake scent. Threw awesome for me. I really like that one a lot. The Bathing Garden Toasted Sugar. This was a sample that had come with my my circus order must be because that was the last time I ordered. It was nice. It didn't throw very well for me, which I had that problem with the bathing garden. So, very, very light throw on that one. Blackberry Jam Filled Birthday Cake. Candles from the Keeping Room. This one is delicious. This is delicious, delicious. I like her birthday cake, and I like when there's fruity mixed with it to make it, you know, fruity birthday cake. I like the fruity scents. What can I say? 30 Street Crafts. This is Clips of Insanity. This was Gain Scented. Gain Island type. It's nice. Nice clean scent. I put it in the bathroom. It threw really well. And this is from July, so I'm not a super, super clean scent person, but that was a nice one. 30 Street Crafts. The King's Table. This was from May. 
and they finished up the last of this. This one is freaking delicious. This is pumpkin waffles with peaches and some other stuff, but it's a really nice bakery peach scent. Uh, Secret Wonderland type candles from the keeping room. This one, I requested the sample of this one. And it's a nice perfumey scent. I am going to actually order this the next time I'm able to order. It was really good. Blackberry Amber type. This was nice perfumey, but with the blackberry in it, it toned it down. I really like this one. I am also going to repurchase this one. Better Homes and Gardens Glittering Pearl. This is Soft Amber, White Musk, and Jasmine. This is a really good bedroom scent. And unfortunately, I think this was from the winter, um, the winter line. If I can find more of this before it goes away, I'm probably going to stock up on it. It's perfect bedroom scent. Something Fruity from Enchanted Candle Company. This is... I don't know. It's a bunch of different fruits mixed with rum, I think. So it's supposed to be like a alcoholic punch scent. This is really good. Threw well. I put it at a medium throw. And it was a really good scent. Perdita from Enchanted Candle Company. This is lemon and mint. This one threw well. I didn't really care for the scent. I don't really know what I was expecting. I don't know. I had to eventually take it out because it was making me nauseous. And I think it just didn't mix with what I was cooking that day. Which was kind of just getting to me. But it is a nice scent. Sniff My Tarts Cotton Candy Bubblegum. This one is good. Threw well. Put this at a medium throw for me. Pink Rosemary from Shea Scents. I bought this in a D-Stash. This is nice. Definitely more herbal. But with the pink sugar, it toned it down a bit. Through medium for me. Uh, tea with the Queen of Hearts. The Bathing Garden. This one I actually swapped. I think I, I don't even remember. I think I swapped with somebody for this one. This is nice. It was a really nice tea scent. I put this in the bathroom. It was really more of a medium... Light to medium throw, but it was really good for the bathroom. Vanilla Lavender Apple Soy Day Busy. This was nice, but the only thing is I was think I was expecting more of a sweet lavender. This is definitely more herbal. And I didn't get a lot of the vanilla, but I got the lavender and the apple. It was medium throw. Super Tarts Frosted Strawberry Banana Candy. Okay, so now this is where Alicia can laugh at me. <laughs> um, for some reason, I bought this, or I swapped with her some Super Tarts, and this is a scent that I said I was burning, and all of a sudden, it started smelling like, like, uh, mesquite chips. I don't know. My boyfriend walked in, he's like, why does it smell like somebody's barbecuing in here? And it smells perfectly fine in the cup. I don't know. Our noses must have been off. It smells like strawberry banana. But once it got burning, it smelled like mesquite chips. Napa Valley. This is a wine scent. This is really nice. This one is a medium throw. Oh, Enchanted Candle Company. Napa Valley. Candyland Dreamin' from Lasting Scent Candles. I bought this in a D stash. And it was a really nice peppermint scent. I think it's supposed to smell like ribbon candy. I don't know. That's what the picture shows anyways, but... Yeah, this is really good. It threw in me at a medium. It's just a nice peppermint scent. Sorry, I have pieces everywhere here. Six cents from Super Tart. This was Starbucks coffee. An almond biscotti, I think. I don't remember, but that's kind of what it smells like. <laughs> so, so freaking good. I hope she offers this again, or else we have to try to get this in a custom. I use this up within, like, two weeks. It is so good. It's a really good scent for the morning. And it threw a medium throw. Beauty and the Beast from Super Tarts. This is um, Magically Delicious and Blackberries. This is another one. I'm obsessed with this one now. I'm so sad I used it. It is so, so good. You guys have no idea how good this one is. I just want to keep sniffing it. Like, I don't even want to throw this away. It smells that good. <laughs> Rose Girls Lavender Pumpkin Pie. I bought this in a D-Stash. This is kind of one of those scents that sounds really gross, but once you melt it, it smells amazing. The lavender helps to tone down the spices. 
Yeah, it's really good. Like, when I got it, I'm like, this is the most gross sounding thing I can think of. Like, lavender does not go with pumpkin, but it worked. Like, she's a genius. This blend is incredible, and I want more. It threw a very high throw for me. You could smell it all throughout my house. Um, this is Soothing Lavender Dreams from Rose Girls. This I got, this bag is huge. This I got in the de-stash I bought as an extra. She must have known that I really, really enjoy this scent. This is Zucchini Bread and Lavender. I have become obsessed with this. I've tried replicating this from other companies. I found one that's pretty close, but nothing can actually top Soothing Lavender Dreams. Throws very well. Amazing bedroom scent. I love it. I love it. So that's all I have for this part of the video, and I will come back with a part two, maybe a little later, and I also have a couple of hauls to make a video of, so be on the lookout for some more videos. Bye!